So this is the demo output of this project and you can see that without mask there is a no mask rectangle and with mask there is green rectangle with mask. So let's start this. Welcome to Techno Learning and if you have not subscribed our channel please subscribe Techno Learning. So here I am telling you about this project. This project is to detect face mask by the camera and we are using python for it first of all you have to get the code from my github repo and i have to open this and you can see this link this link is also present in the video description you can just copy it from there and then you have to download this project as i am doing here download it as a zip and it is downloading after that you have to also get the data set and this link is also present in the video description go to that link copy it and then paste it and then you will be able to download the data set also so here it is showing the data set zip file and you have to click on download after clicking on download you have to click on download anyway it is 127 MBs in size and you can see that both the files are downloaded and these are in zip so you have to extract the files from it, from there and now I'm gonna extract the first file that is face mask project and right click on this right click on this yes uh, and I'm extracting it it is extracted let me open it you can see that after that cut this from here and paste it within this face mask and I pasted it and then just extract it here too after that delete this dataset.zip and now it is deleted and extract extracted and now I'm gonna delete this data set dot chip it is no more needed and this is the step one you have to install the requirement so open this requirement dot txt and then you can see that there are seven requirements and seven installation is required so let's open the terminal or command prompt if you are using the windows then type it as pip3 installed or requirement.txt if you are using windows then you can type pip only instead of pip3 so the requirements are already fulfilled and this is the step 2 the preview of the data set click on the data set folder and here you can see that there are those two folders and the first folder is with mask here are the photos with mask is present and there are 1915 photos and now without mask images and there are 1918 images so this is our data set with mask and without mask let's come back here and step 3 is data pre-processing and in this we have to open this train.py file you can see that uh, there are directory here and let me tell you for windows the directory is different and for linux or ubuntu the directory is different so if you are using windows then you have to uncomment the directory for windows and take the directory from the your system after that uh, if you are using Linux then use the default code that is provided by me and if you are using Windows then comment that Linux directory and uncomment that Windows directory so this is the little issue where the error occurs so this is not the big deal and in the first line you can see that there are initial learning rate and number of epochs and best size so now let me tell you that uh, where to take 
the directory so go to the properties of that data set folder and then copy that and you can paste it within this directory it is same so I was talking about these import and initial learning rate and reports you can see that there is mobile net is used instead of convolution neural network it is fast than it that's why I've used it and now there is uh, initial learning date epoch and the passage I have taken the initial learning rate as uh, 1 raised to 10 raised to the power minus 4 that is 1 e minus 4 and this combination is good used is as same after that uh, you can see that there are two lists data and labels uh, in data we will be storing the image array and in label we will be uh, labeling that images either it has a weird mask or not mask that is without mask and we will be doing it with the, the for loop and we are doing the for loop as we have stored the categories uh, there are two categories the first one is with mask and without mask and in categories and there is path after that uh, you can see that uh, we are storing that uh, list of directories of the images and then we are just appending the data and labels and here after getting the data image as image and labels as text now we have the text in textual format but we have to convert it into binary format that's why we are using label binarizer that is hot encoding and then we are converting it into the np arrays that is numpy arrays it is very useful while doing the you know image classification after that the training part starts from here we are doing the training of x with test of x and i'm taking 20 percent of the data set for the test and the 80 percent the rest 80 percent is for training and the random state is taken as 42 after that uh, there is augmentation augmentation is nothing but you are taking an image and it's multiple versions multiple versions means the rotation change zoom change width shift and horizontal flip like that properties like that will be added to that image and there will be multiple images of the multiple properties of the same image after that uh, we are creating two models one is base model and the other is head model we are using base model as we are using mobile net and further we will be using the base model in head model as the output of the base model will be stored in the head model so mobile net is used here and mobile net uh, uh, is uh, alternative for CNN and it is faster than CNN that's why we have opt for mobile net and here you can see that uh, head model is there and then we are doing the pooling and using the activation function as relu and after that uh, the dropping out of the dance and then we are using the activation function softmax uh, you can uh, use uh, you know interchange that there's no problem but uh, uh, after flattening relu and softmax is recommended so this is uh, where the model part start to be trained from base model and then head model remember the output of the base model that is taken from the mobile net will be stored in the head model and in head model will be work as the training model for our project for now uh, let me see for more details about it so it is the tensor the input tensor in the input tensor we are processing the shape and uh, taking the size of the image at 224 uh, for height and width and then there is a, a color counter color counter is uh, taken as a RGB3 uh, there are three channels in the colors that's why it is three and then uh, you can see that uh, here uh, we are training our model and the base model 
uh, is taken as the input and its output is uh, stored in the head model and now we are freezing the layers uh, the on the layer that uh, we have worked on uh, previously and we have fitted our model and after that we are compiling the model and we are using the Adam function Adam function is uh, uh, used here uh, for optimization for optimization we are using uh, Adam function then uh, we are also storing uh, the matrix of uh, accuracy and then again we are fitting the model with the augmentation part as we have uh, lesser images in our that data set that's why we have used that augmentation uh, in which uh, we have uh, taken the other properties of the image to of a single image and make it uh, large that's why we are using it and we are taking the epoch as from the epoch that we have defined in the beginning and then the best size is also defined after that we are evaluating our network and we are predicting uh, the IDs as uh, test X and the size is PS and then uh, we are labeling the image as per the index of their label and th this will tell that th that image will uh, having uh, the mask or not with mask or without mask after that uh, we are uh, nicely formatting the classification report uh, with the classification report function after that uh, we are saving the model and once the model is saved it will be stored in that folder and the model is saved as mask underscore uh, detector dot model let's see where it is stored right now and before it uh, let me tell you the format is also h5 okay so now uh, we are plotting the graph 2 and we are plotting it from the uh, numpy array web that we have we are uh, printing all these things within this graph like uh, loss and accuracy as x and uh, y label and x label as the epoch and after that we are saving it within the plot.png image and the, this is also stored within the same folder and as I have uh, these files already and uh, let me show you uh, these files the first one is mass detector model and here we go so here the plot.png and mass underscore or detector dot model we have both the files so now this is the step 4 the model training uh, this is what we are doing but uh, uh, instead of convolution we are using uh, the other ImageNet ImageNet pre-trained model uh, and now I am training the model actually in my terminal and here I will type as python3 and then space after the space if you are using windows then you can go for python i am using ubuntu uh, that's why i am using python 3 python 3 space train ppy so it will train the model it will take few time up to one hour two hour so i am pausing the video here now this is the step 5 here i am gonna show you my plot.png after training the model that's that's here uh, we have uh, tracked the accuracy loss and here you can see that uh, our model is accurate and after that the final step uh, in which we are going through this detect underscore mask file actually this file is a mixture of face nat and mass nat we are using it uh, as uh, this file contains the image classification the face detection part and also the mask detection part is you know mixed with, with with each other and the libraries uh, you can see that we have import them and uh, i want to show you that uh, how uh, face and uh, mask will be detected uh, this file will have two files uh, 
in their zip file and I have stored uh, those both files there and then uh, using that files uh, that which which we used for you know face detection but uh, here we are using the booth the face detection part and the mask detection part so how it is taking first of all we are initializing the list of faces and corresponding locations locations uh, is for you know we are drawing that uh, rectangle that's why location part is taken there it is a list and now uh, we are going through the loop for the detection and here we are taking the confidence of, of the detection and if the confidence is greater than 0.5 we are drawing the box uh, the box that is a rectangle we are drawing it using the frame and extracting the face from it and after extracting the face it is from converted from VGR to RGB channel these are color channels after that we are appending the face with the uh, face and face then will be uh, stored in numpy arrays and the best size is 32 for the prediction for the prediction we are using masknet after that we are returning that locks and uh, prediction uh, that means we are returning that uh, rectangle and also the result that it will have that uh, mask and their percentage of that mask percentage mask percentage and without mask percentage both of both these things here you can see that and we are also using the color pattern for it and we are using uh, 0 to 550 that is red color if uh, there is no mask and if there is mask uh, there will be green color uh, we have used different values for the green color here and also we are showing the label in terms of the percentage so it is for the percentage label and then we have the frame and after that uh, we are destroying the windows and stopping the whole thing so this is all and now let's run this let's run this file detect underscore mask dot py let me write python 3 space that file name uh, if you are using windows then type python 3 i'm using ubuntu linux that's why i'm using python 3 okay then it will open a video a stream here and show you a window of uh, in which you can see my face and there is no mask right now here I am taking the mask also you can see that the red rectangle with that uh, label now I have here the mask so you can see that it is saying mask and the green color after detecting the mask and now I am removing the mask so this is our project and I have provided all the links within the video description and I have a request for you please subscribe our channel